Hey guys, if you see a glare on my glasses, it is because I got new lighting and I'm working it out. I'm working it out. It's fine, but it, it's it's good lighting, so I'm proud. I don't really care about it in the glasses because it's good lighting. But either way, welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, please subscribe down below. You will not regret it, I promise. But yeah, so I got iOS 11 today. So what that means is that I'm going to do like a hacks slash tips type of video for you guys because now there's screen recording which I will get to but now I can finally screen record which I'm so happy about but yeah so let's just get into it so Caroline has kindly offered me her phone so I can compare because she does not have iOS 11 yet this is gonna become very handy say like you're trying to point out like an app and you take a screenshot. So this is what you do. You take a screenshot and it goes down in the bottom corner, which is pretty cool. You just click on it and you have all these notifications. You can draw on any of them, like all of it. You can erase all of it. I haven't even messed around with all of it yet. Oh, look, you can change the colors, of course. You can add a text. Edit. What the fuck? All right. So it lets you add text, it lets you magnify on stuff, it lets you add a signature. My signature is so great. What I'm so excited about is that, say Caroline was asking about one of my apps that I have. If I wanted to show her, say I'm talking about one second every day, which I do film every day, all you do is you just circle this and so I can send her this now. So I can save it to my photos, and if she's asking what my app is, I can just send her the screenshot of it circled and just completely like show her the app. So another hack is that when you take a live photo, now it has to be live photo. So I'm gonna take a photo of my, so this is what my setup looks like if you guys were wondering. So you take a live photo, and then when you click on it, you can just scroll up and there's these there's loop bounce and long exposure loop the live photo it just repeats pretty much just like a video on repeat and then bounce is like a boomerang which is the coolest thing ever you can't really see it let me show you let me do a better picture okay so now you see caroline when i bounce it the live photo will move and it's almost like a boomerang bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. I'm about to throw a couple thousand. So the loop is this, so it's just like a video, pretty much. And then bouncing. Bouncing. It's like a boomerang. And then the long exposure doesn't really work well. Like when people take pictures with the sparklers and they like write letters and stuff in it, that's long exposure. That's how it's this is what it looks like on your regular phone. So another hack is when you press down on this, it looks a little different. You can tell because there's no like home screen, but you can just like shut everything out. If you don't have the home screen, you can just like click off and it'll just go automatically to the home screen. So the next hack is that you can actually change everything in the control center. It looks completely different. It's not half the screen anymore. It's actually the full screen and you can actually fill it up with like a whole bunch of different apps and I'll show you how to do that because I'm going to add some for you guys in just a minute. But see, the first thing is that you can, you can like hold down and it'll open up this bigger and so you can see what you're listening to. And then in this one, you can see the airdrop and the personal hotspot and there's the other like four things um i know i've seen that if you put it on airplane mode you can no longer do airplane mode and bluetooth at the same time you can only do airplane and wi-fi at the same time which i've never done both of them at the same time obviously there is the screen recording and you can tell that it's recording now because you can see a little like vibration but if i stop recording it'll tell me up in the top screen video has stopped recording you can see it in your photos and then when I start recording again it has a little countdown and then boom back up recording so that's pretty cool and the brightness it changes I'm pretty sure the brightness gets a lot darker look like, like you can't even see that it's definitely darker than it used to go it used to go like this dark it definitely goes like super dark to edit the control center all you do is you go to settings and if you notice anything the settings at the top is different i was going to show you that in the messages later because the messages are laid out different as well but in each of the things like you can like the setting at the top the words usually never say that there 
but if you go to control center and customize controls you can actually put new stuff on here so this is what it looks like currently and i'm about to put some new stuff on there so i'm gonna put my alarm because i use my alarm every week for my classes and then I'll put low power mode because my phone dies often. Like you can tell it's charging right now while recording. And let's see. Let's do, should I do timer or stopwatch? Let's do timer and camera because I, I can't have it where it's like not even at the bottom. But you can actually like, you can put like more, even more and like it'll work. But like this is the power saving mode. So that's on and now it's off. I'm just going to keep it on just so my phone keeps recording. I mean, keeps charging more. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, so that's just how you edit that. The one weird thing with screen recording. Okay, so I will show you what I mean. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go to Caroline's Snapchat and I'm gonna send myself a video, okay? So what I was saying was that if you screen record, you can see, like you can video someone's Snapchat video that they've sent you. The problem with this is that it will tell them that you have screenshotted their Snapchat. So beware, you cannot do it unknown. I want you to comment down below what phones you have. I want to know. I want to know if you have Android. I want to know if you're team iPhone. I used to be team Windows phone, unfortunately, until I got the best. The next thing, when you pull down on your screen, usually this would show you just like a blurred out picture, but now it, sh but now it shows you my lock screen. So that's pretty cool. I think it's cool that you can still scroll over and see all the stuff on here. I don't know why my weather is in Winchester because I'm definitely not in Winchester right now. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> but and you can still scroll over to your camera. So there are two different things on Siri. So the first one is like when you want to talk to her. Hey Siri, what's the weather like outside? Nice weather coming so up. To I can edit this actually instead. So like if I uh, fucked up at the beginning, I can just say. Um, I can just text her. E, but you asked me to call you my queen. Yep. So you can pretty much just edit like what you're saying and she'll also, it's, if you notice the bottom little thing is changed as well. Um, the little icon thing that little swirls. It reminds me of Iron Man. It reminds me of Jarvis for some reason. Because I mean, they're basically like the same. But she can translate things to you. Hey Siri, how do you say I would like to have dinner tonight in French? So if that was you, right. Right. So there is now an emergency SOS thing. If you click your um, lock button five times really fast, you see the little emergency SOS symbol, and you can literally just swipe it, and it'll direct call to you to 911 instead of having to legit go type 911. I think it's a really cool thing now that there's notes in this little dashboard. So, cause I use notes literally 24 seven. So here's a new notes thing and you can now add charts to it. And I think that's pretty fucking awesome. You can, the this little layout, I know it's a little different. There's this monospace one is a different I don't think it was on the last one, but there's like, it's just easier to reach stuff now instead of having to go into settings. And then of course there's still like the drawing stuff. Let's see. So there are a couple things that look a little different. The calculator definitely looks a little different. Um, for those of you who didn't know this, you can actually swipe back to delete numbers. It took me forever to find that out. Like I, I've known that for a little while, but like it took me a too long to figure that out. Caroline's literally like dead on the floor over there. I don't know what's happening. She laughed, so apparently she's not dead. And the messages look a little different. So I'll just show you messages between Caroline and I because I've been testing stuff out, like I've been sending her stuff. So at the bottom you can see there's like a whole little like line of stuff you can do. I can legit send her Venmo money. We can still play games in the game pigeon thing. I can send her stuff from Tinder, Bitmoji. You can send her like little stickers and stuff. I don't know if you guys have like seen any of this stuff. I can literally just like clap it on there. If you have noticed like on the last couple updates when you, you can, the new like screen effects, there's no new stuff for like the bubbles, but when you want to go to screen, there's this new thing. It's called send with echo. And then there is a spotlight on the hay. So I saw somebody who did this with a little poop emoji. So there was like a whole bunch of poop emojis flying around. I thought that was funny. Along with the messages. So like I said, last time the messages looks a little different. There's still like the messages at the top. And then once you click on it, you can, if you are like, Caroline has 
a bigger phone than I do, obviously. Like, look at the size difference of this thing. So, say Caroline, like, hates type like she just wants to type with one hand it's now easier you just hold down on the little emoji thing and you can see the three little keyboards right here that i'm hovering over so say i wanted it to the right since i'm using my right hand so it'll just shift everything over to the right and you can just type with one hand and you don't have to like reach so far and you just click it back and if you're using your left hand or whatever you can just make it go back to normal but you don't have to just go back to here if it's just on here you can click the little back arrow and it just goes right back to normal so another thing i thought was cool is under the settings you can scroll down and there is tv provider so i entered i didn't ask but i know my parents tv provider and then all these shows came up there's like abc are these apps cnn there's like all this different stuff that would come underneath my parents like provider plan like on their tv with their cable and i can literally just like hgtv i can download any of this and without having to sign in on those apps it'll just already be signed in i think i haven't really tested it out so another cool thing on here is that if you go to general and accessibility you can do this like invert color thing gotta find it first display accommodations yeah you can do this smart invert which just makes everything darker at night like oh, say i want to play some music shows on here on my back screen and you can scroll down to see or scroll up to see like older notifications from different people and i thought that was pretty cool that you can see like older stuff on here um, as well as this and it, they just like mold together pretty much. I really like this because usually you have to like scroll up and scroll over to like to do the music and now it's like all in like one little thing. I really like that. When you're moving apps you can actually move more than one at a time. So say I wanted to move um, one second every day and also Instagram. You can literally just tap on the different apps you want to move and they'll just move together and they won't go in like a little group i thought that was so cool that they'll do that if you want me to do a what's on my iphone tag just let me know that and i'll do it because i love my iphone honestly like i'm so in love down at the bottom on the old phone if you look at caroline's like there's little labels on the bottom of her little dock and so on mine there are not but when you're here and you pull down if you search so if you want to look up characteristic there's an automatic dictionary right here and i use the dictionary like all the time so i don't seem like a dumbass when people ask me questions i like look up the words and stuff so now it'll tell you exactly like whatever word you want to look up so when you get a message while you're on the phone and you hold it down it'll show like, it's like darker now and i think that looks so much better um it used to just be like lighter and like you can just like reply but I've, i like the darker keyboard a lot better i think it looks a lot nicer that is it for this video yeah there's like a whole bunch of new stuff with ios 11 i know i didn't tell you all of it the ios 11 came out on september 19th i believe and today i'm filming this on the 20th i really like the ios 11 i'm very pleased with it and i just downloaded it today if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos, please comment down below and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And Caroline is on the floor asleep right now, so she's knocked the fuck out. And she does knock down too as well. Little sleepy head. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Peace. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I'm about to throw a